Hey there, what are the five things that you absolutely need to be a food delivery driver? Hey there, my name is Russ and welcome to my channel. On my channel, I'll give you tips on how to improve both your earnings and your ratings for food delivery companies. If you're new, there are five essential things that you need in order to be a successful food delivery driver. The first one, you need some delivery bags. Why is this? Well, when you go in, you'll get a little bit of priority when you seemingly cut in line to get the food. Everybody knows that no one is there for themselves if you're carrying a food delivery bag. So it's a good way to cut ahead to the line. And I have this one. Um, I got it from Instacart and I highly recommend it because uh, they're small and useful. I use them for obviously the other companies. And then you can also get some larger bags when Costco has them. And the more you have, the better. You can use them for Instacart carrying a bunch of groceries and you can use them when you have stacked orders or picking up orders from multiple restaurants for different hot and cold food. Having three or four of these is nice because you can separate hot items, cold items, groceries, etc. Let me show you my trunk. I have a couple more. You can see I have a couple more. I did get this from Uber Eats and I have just some extra bags in there for now, but this is large enough that I could put some large amount of items and a box from the corner shop. The second thing you need to be a successful food delivery driver is a way to record all your deliveries. And that could be anything from a body camera. It could be a cell phone that you use to record video and take pictures. Um, or it could be a dash camera. And I happen to have a couple here. You can see it's recording right now. That records inside and outside the vehicle. I recommend that because then if someone ever said you tampered with their food, at least you could prove while it was in your car that you did not. The other one I have up there is for traffic and it also records audio. One app that works really well that goes along with this recording concept is called the Timestamp Camera app. And I even recommend you pay for the full version. It's only like $5, well worth it. And what it'll do is put the GPS, your address, the time, date, everything right in that picture. So if a customer says, oh, you didn't give me my food, you can send them a copy of that picture as well as the food delivery company. Number three, you must have a phone mount. Why is this? It's dangerous. It may be against the law in your state as well, but even if it's not, they're great to have. You know, if you have your phone, the worst thing is to be driving around and staring at your phone. You're gonna have an accident. The best way to keep it organized is with a phone mount. And you can see right here, I have one that plugs in and it also charges wirelessly. For my other phone, I have just the standard mount. You can see I've repaired it with some hot glue and that didn't exactly work out. This allows you to be organized when you're out delivering. I highly recommend having at least one. Number four, you must have wires and external batteries. This will keep you on the road longer. Obviously, you know about uh, charging into your car, having the power adapter into your cigarette lighter. Having these kind of batteries and cables will really help you. Doing Instacart, I connect a battery to a cable to my phone. So while I'm shopping, I'm guaranteed never to run out of uh, battery. In the car, it's a little bit easier because you always have the capability to charge inside. But having a battery and the associated charging cables is essential. Number five, you must drink water. Otherwise, you're going to die. Ha, huh, just kidding. But actually, you will feel really sick. The best thing is to keep hydrated. Keep water in your car with you. At a minimum, you're going to get busy during the day and you need to be hydrated. Otherwise, you're going to run the risk of not providing good customer service to your customers. If you don't feel well, you're going to be easily irritated and angered, especially delivering in apartments. So drink a lot of water throughout the day and you will feel your best and be able to provide that best customer service to your customers. They're going to reward you with a tip. All right. Let me know what you think of these five tips. Have you heard of any more? 
I hope that this is valuable for you. And then especially as a beginning food delivery driver, I hope that these really come in handy for you and allow you to do your best and make the most money you can. All right, stay safe out there and have a great productive time delivering food. And let me know in the comments how these five tips have helped you deliver food as well. All right, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.